if you can, save for your future. <laughs> it's going to get tough. But you can look it up. It's online. But your Social Security, if you're in America, probably about the next 15 years when I'm eligible for full retirement, they said they're probably going to, you know, if they don't raise taxes somehow, they're going to probably give a 20 to 25 percent deduction in your social security benefits so if you depending on the government to take care of you in retirement be careful you need to have you know some kind of plan but the best thing you can do now i know i spend a lot of money eating out my wife's sick and all but like my truck and my car you know, I, I found a finally a good mechanic that wouldn't take advantage and, you know, I'll try to keep the car running because a new car now is probably pretty high, you know, and I seen a Japanese truck that looks pretty cool. It's a small little truck. A lot of places use them on farms or Air Force bases, I think, but it's a little, <laughs> they say you can get them for $5,000, but they're not really road legal, but that'd be cool to drive one of them around but besides that you know they're trying to push these electric vehicles which don't really save the environment it make more money as long as they're produced over here it make more money i guess in the u.s instead of depending on foreign oil but how are we gonna we're gonna have to mine coal or something to generate power to power these vehicles and california they even told people not to charge them certain days of the week because it was putting too much demand on the power grid. Yeah, Elon Musk said, I think a mile, you'd only need one square mile of solar panels. So I don't know if you would have to space them out. So you might need 10 miles with all the area in between the solar panels. But he said one square mile of solar panels be enough to power all electricity in the U.S. I thought that was pretty cool. So, you know, there are solutions. But if people are going to lose money to make it more economical, they're not going to do it, unfortunately. But hopefully, you know, I got an interview tomorrow for a behavioral technician. And I noticed even the temporary services saying if you had more certifications. So if I feel comfortable and don't get fired and can help people, then maybe I'll consider taking some of these certifications for behavioral because... At the school, it's only like around $15 an hour. I said it could be more, but it's, you know, based on 205 days a year because you're off for different holidays for the school. And I think it's about twenty one or 23000 times 7.5. So you're not going to make a lot, you know, at the school anyway. But if you got your foot in the door, feel comfortable, can put up with certain things and you could move up to school. So it's, it's an opportunity to move up. There's a couple other jobs I looked at. One was 40 hours a week. Be getting off at 11 PM, but you know, changing truck tires, doing maintenance on trailers. <clears throat> Plus about, you know, 30, 50 miles to go one way, five days a week. So all I'd be is, uh, I've been accused of this in the past, being a wage slave. <laughs> so you know and who knows if my mobility could uh handle the job anyway i feel a little bit better but i'm not doing anything so you know it's not too bad when you're not doing anything but yeah we have a dog that's adhd and i put him in the other dog pen and the other dog just looked at him i yelled at him but he's got to get used to it. But normally he runs around. If the other dog can get used to him, <laughs> he might run around. And um, Right now he's not moving at all. And he usually runs all the time in the other case. So I might have to put him back. Or I might have to put the two little dogs in the big cage. And put, because he ain't really moving around that much. So we might do that. Because he's getting older. But the other dog likes to run. So we may need to put him in the big cage. But he don't want to run because now he might get bit. So I'm watching him. The other dog kind of went up to him. And I went, hey! So he quit. But yeah, 
if you can save your money, you know, uh, just try to be frugal. I know it sucks. It's not what they teach you about the American dream and being, um, all consuming, consuming everything till it's gone. But you know, we're going to have to be careful or, you know, if you don't have, if you're not like a trust fund baby or figured out how to get above the matrix, then you got to be frugal because I think most people say one person works, you get two kids. And if you live, you might be able to supplement your economy if you live beyond and were able to get some kind of assistance, you know, be, uh, if your child had a problem or health issues or one of the spouse did, but if you don't have that and you're working yourself to death, you're never going to be a millionaire because it just takes everything you can to survive. The only way you can save money is by being frugal or to cut your expenses. It, you know, if you hadn't found something to do, like it's talking to one guy and he had all kind of ideas and he works full time at the job I got for Firewatch. And he said he's talked to so many people. He tried try to get a mentor. You know, usually they say somebody else is doing it, then you do it. But it's hard to get somebody to share the secrets. But he would talk to people at gas stations and real friendly. And he said a lot of these people even got businesses where they were like couriers. And they'd start out and spend all this money. But then they were making money. But they didn't put any aside for the business. So they weren't good at managing money. So they had a business for maybe six months. And then, well, now you need $20,000 to fix your truck or 10000 And they didn't have the money. You know, it got slow and they couldn't afford the insurance to drive. And so you're working for yourself. If you're not really busting it, you still got to be tight. Because you're, you're for yourself, and you don't have anybody to bail you out. But, you know, and then you're going to spend more time. It's harder working for somebody else. A lot of people just want to go work, leave their stress and their worry at work when they leave, and come home and relax. You got your business, you can't. You always got to think, what can I do to make it better? You know, what? how do I pay these taxes? What, where's this expense at? Now, the shop's closed on Monday. I got $800 delivery. You know, it's real stressful to have all that under you. And some businesses aren't, aren't that profitable. So one or two hiccups could really put you out. But, you know, you got that uh, Roth IRA if you're able to put money in it. And you can have it tax-free right now. <clears throat> They'll probably tax it because they said, <clears throat> hey, we need your money to help pay for Social Security. <laughs> So what do you do? But the good thing, I, I don't know about federal. Somebody correct me if they know. But the school district, at least in Aiken, South Carolina, you work so many years, you get it like a, a pension plan for the rest of your life whenever you're eligible to retire. And I think the minimum is at least eight years of service at 62. But if you retire older, then you get more money based on your last yearly paycheck times 1.82%, which would be 0 0.0182 times, you know, about 20,000 and times by the years you work. So if I did that at the little behavior thing for 15 years, I might get 600 a month, you know, for the rest of my life when I retire. So the money I lost in the Social Security would make up for it. But if I didn't have that, then... I think I'm only eligible for, what, last year was 1900 so 25%. I might get 1500 and 15 years from now. What's that going to buy? Maybe put gas in your car, pay your light bill. Then you got to pay insurance. And if you and your spouse, you got to get Medicare. That could cost you anywhere from 180 to 250 a month per person. You know, so you need at least 500 just for that. And then you might have to give up your cell phone or cable or or eating or something. And if you have another thousand dollars worth of medicine, <laughs> you gonna have to you gonna have to work or sit there 
get paid to be a security alarm or something and you're not going to be able to retire. <laughs> so, especially when they cut everything. But I just wanted to share that. Save your money. Be frugal, you know. If you can uh, squeeze the air out of the bag, make it last longer, put it in the refrigerator, you know, whatever you got to do. If the less money you spend, then just don't worry about spending everything. You can always, um, you can take pictures of it, put it on, make a YouTube video out of it. And as long as you don't do their guidelines, then you can always watch your video and say, hey, remember when I took a picture of that? Look how cool it is. And if you don't use it, it just sits in the house. That picture is going to be worth more than something just taking up space. Because even though it's minor, but say it gets hot in the house, then you turn off the air conditioning. Well, that items, all those excess items you have are warm. So now you, the ambient temperature, you got to cool it off. So really that stuff's just costing you more heat than that cooling bill to keep all that stuff. And it deteriorates and probably gives off some kind of breaks down, you know, after years. And you just get overwhelmed because you only got, you know, two arms or two hands. And if you got 10, you know, even if you use one every 10 days, you're only going to use that same one about 30 times a year. And, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth having all this stuff they just get you to buy and everybody else gets rich on it? And then you struggle to buy medicine. So, you know, if you're young, try to save your money. The hopefully the stocks have come up since all the congressmen and senators and all them people ain't buying stocks and or they're making laws and serving on boards for it. I think the stocks are starting to go up and now and they hadn't my account by August of twenty twenty one it hadn't went up at all in almost two years. So that's how much damage the stocks are being manipulated, you know, but you can buy, you buy assets if you can, you know, that you can at least make more money on. That's not going to get destroyed or wherever you live. So there's thousands of things you can do legally, you know, but, um, for the poor guy, the basic thing, just be frugal and try not to spend as much and spend less than what you make and try to save that in assets or something or Roth IRA, but you don't want to put it in something that's going to penalize you, but put it in something, you know, at least have a little emergency fund. And there's a lot of financial gurus. Don't forget, save your money. The social security is probably going to be deducted because they're going to run out of money for it or they're going to take something. So you're going to need more money to offset the taxes. Unless you go live in another country. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Good luck saving money or living frugally.